Imagine a sunrise over a small organic field. To the naked eye, it's familiar. Rose, soil, a breeze. But beneath and above that calm, technology is awake. Tiny soil probes whisper moisture levels. Solar-powered weather nodes hum temperature and humidity. A drone, three fields away, folds its rotors and uploads a multi-spectral snapshot. This layered sensing, soil, canopy, air, is the new sensory nervous system for organic farms. It doesn't replace the farmer's intuition. It amplifies it, turning slow guesses into precise signals. Sensors are the farm's vital signs. Buried moisture probes report volumetric water content in real time. Nitrate probes estimate available nitrogen. Leaf wetness sensors warn of conditions favorable to fungal outbreaks. When networks of these devices are deployed across a field, they generate microclimate maps. High-resolution mosaics showing which strips dry out first, which pockets trap cold air, and where nutrients linger or leach. Those maps change decisions. Compost or biofertilizer is targeted to the exact strip that needs it. The result is smarter conservation and more resilient crops because actions are driven by measured need. Rather, irrigation schedules are no longer calendar-based but need-based. Side dressing of organic than guesswork. Drones are the farm's aerial diagnosticians. On a single flight, a drone with multispectral and thermal cameras sees things human eyes cannot. Shifts in NDVI that indicate declining chlorophyll, subtle thermal anomalies that predict water stress before leaves wilt, and spectral patterns that hint at early pest or disease onset. This early detection is a game changer in organic systems where preventative, targeted interventions, biocontrol sprays, beneficial insect release, mechanical removal are preferred to broad chemical responses. When a drone flags a suspicious patch, a farmer can scout precisely, sample, and intervene locally, saving labor, lowering input use, and preventing spread. Recent field studies show multispectral drone imagery is strongly correlated with canopy indices and nutrient content, making it a reliable early warning tool. Integration is the multiplier. A single sensor reading is useful. A layered data set is transformational. Combine soil moisture maps with thermal drone imagery, and you can predict which zones will show stress during an upcoming heat wave. Overlay historical yield maps, and you can detect persistent underperformers possibly due to soil compaction or nematode pressure. Those fused signals feed a decision engine that ranks interventions by likely benefit and bandwidth. That prioritization turns raw data into an actionable task list for the farmer. Edge AI brings immediacy and resilience. Rural connectivity is often patchy. Sending every image to the cloud is slow or impossible. Edge AI, models that run on gateways or on the drone itself, lets the system detect anomalies infield and push only essential alerts. A drone can flag early blight during flight and send an urgent message to the farmer's phone. High probability of early blight in sector C3. Scout within 24 hours. This on-device inference reduces latency, preserves privacy, and allows autonomous devices to operate when the network is down. Human in the loop is essential for safety and trust. Models make confident recommendations, but biology is noisy. False positives and sensor failures happen. The best workflows put agronomists and farmers back into the loop. AI flags high probability problems. Agronomists interpret borderline cases, and farmers decide when to act. This collaborative loop prevents reckless automated actions and builds trust. Farmers adopt technology when it proves useful and when it explains its reasoning in plain language. I recommend this because Leaf Sensor X dropped below threshold and NDV I decreased by 12% over seven days. Shared services democratize access for smallholders. Individual sensors and drones can be costly, but cooperative models, pooled drone flights, rented sensor kits, community analytics, dilute cost per farm. Projects in multiple regions now enable clusters of 20, 30 farmers to access aerial diagnostics and advisory dashboards at a fraction of the price of individual ownership. This cooperative approach turns precision tools into public goods for local farming communities, improving yields and reducing losses at scale. Real-world pilot projects and government-supported programs are already using cluster models to widen access. Data quality and model generalization are recurring limits. Sensors drift, cameras, misclassify soil residue as disease, and models trained in one agroecology may struggle in another.
That's why validation trials and local calibration are non-negotiable. Farmers, extension officers, and regional agronomists must co-design sensor placement and model thresholds. When done well, the system moves from brittle to robust. When ignored, it risks false alarms or missed outbreaks. The golden rule, use AI to augment and accelerate experienced judgment, not to substitute for it. Actionability wins adoption. Farmers adopt technology when it answers two questions instantly. What should I do today and why should I do it? Dashboards that translate diagnostics into short, prioritized action lists with time, materials, and expected benefit see far more sustained use than ones that merely display maps and indices. The true power of sensors and drones is not the data itself, but the timely decisions that data enables. Healthier crops, lower waste, and better margins. Yield optimization with predictive models. Prediction changes the game. Where farmers once guessed the season's yield from weather lore and experience, predictive models now estimate expected output weeks and months in advance by fusing historical yields, soil profiles, current sensor feeds, and weather forecasts. Those predictions enable deliberate choices. Sow a drought-tolerant variety if models forecast dry conditions. Reduce planting density in zones forecast to be moisture-limited. Schedule labor and post-harvest handling with confidence. Predictive accuracy has improved markedly as remote sensing data, local sensors, and machine learning are combined. And predictive windows of weeks to months give farmers time to act rather than just react. AI organic farming blends rich sensing, airborne diagnostics, and predictive intelligence to convert uncertainty into prioritized action. For small farms, the smartest path is incremental. Pick one pain point, water waste, pest scouting, pilot a low-cost sensor or a single drone flight, measure the benefit, and scale what works. Tech isn't a silver bullet. It's an amplifier of local knowledge when designed for the realities of small-scale agriculture.